Hello, I'm Jeff Darrington, the Senior Technical Marketing Manager here at Greylog, and today I'm going to give you a quick demo of Greylog Operations. Greylog Operations is a powerful, easy to use log management and analysis solution designed to provide IT professionals with increased visibility into their day to day operations. Greylog is here to enable your collection and normalization of logs. Doing this will enable lightning fast search across all of your logs. This can be done across your on prem, hybrid, or cloud operations. Greylog is here for your IT infrastructure and applications ecosystem. Let's get into the demo. Let's take a quick look at search. When your logs are coming into Greylog and you've run them through your pipelines and rules to parse them and assign them to a stream, now you can search all logs or search by stream. So here you'll see on the screen, I've limited my O365 messages. In here, if I wanted to search for a particular user credential, like user underscore name, you'll see Greylog will return the actual results from that particular field for the users that are in the data. Or if you wish, you can actually extend the timeout and get more logs. And inside the logs, you can start adding some value. So if I click a field in a particular log file, like application name and show top values, you're going to get the results of what applications are running inside those logs. If I duplicate this, what I can do is change how it's represented in the actual window in the dashboard. So I'm going to change it and I want to make this a pie chart and update the view and you'll see very quickly how you can change the values and make it much more valuable or have a different visualization. If I want to look at specific logs within OneDrive, I can click on this and show documents for value. Now you're going to get a new window with everything related to OneDrive and you'll see we've got some summary messages here for files being accessed or previewed. If I wanted to know what those files were, I could scroll down to the field called file source name, show top values. And in this case, you'll see all of the individual file names that are being edited. And you can take that further if you wish. If you wanted to take this search a little bit further, you can create a dashboard by going over here and saving the search or exporting it to a dashboard. When we go to dashboards, I can show you that I've taken the actual files changed by dashboard and created a very quickly a dashboard that's specific to the files that are modified by users. And I can extend the time. You'll see all of the files by user and the information in the logs. Once you've built searches, save them, and then created dashboards, this will enable you to create reports. Reports of all your individual widgets within your dashboards are made available within reports area. So if we go here to enterprise and reports, you'll see I've got a number of reports that have been built. The previous searches we did regarding OneDrive, I've created a quick report. If we go into the configuration of the report. You can actually send this report out multiple times, either hourly, daily, weekly, or monthly, and you can send it to particular users in Greylog and to the email address of your choosing. If you want to modify the content of the report, you'll see the default report here with all the individual widgets. When you modify the report, you'll then see where you've got the naming of it. You can upload your logo. You can put in a description, set the time zone for the area that you're creating the report. And you'll see below here at the bottom, where I've selected the actual report, you'll actually see where the individual widgets appear. If you wanted to modify the time range of the report or the data, you can actually edit the actual modified individual widget. It'll take you right into the widget and you'll be able to modify it and save it on the fly and hit OK and then go right back into your report. And that covers off a quick version of reports for Greylog. The Greylog Correlation Engine is a powerful tool to tie multiple events together to give you intelligent decisions that will be required to wake the on-call teams for response. As a quick example, I have a potential brute force attack success in your network. Looking at this, you'll see it named. In the correlation, we're keeping track of a correlation between the amount of excessive windows, failures of logons, and the potential for successful logins over a period of time with a value of 10 failures to one success. This particular event will bring the fields in with the source and the username that's potentially being brute forced. And you can tie the notifications. In this case, I've tied it to a Discord alert. You can tie it to others like email, fire and enterprise script and others, and then create the summary. And you are now being notified of this particular event. Thanks for watching. And if you wanna get more in depth in a demo with Greylog, and get to see all the features for Greylog, like parameterized search, built-in technology packs, and packaged alerts inside of Greylog, sign up for a 20-minute demo where you can ask live questions at the end of the demo. 
Hope to see you soon. Happy logging with Greylog.